YouTube family. Grombi gives up a 2-1 lead. How can this happen? More importantly, how did Grombi get that 2-1 lead in the first place? I did something that I really hate when other people do. When I get online to play, especially when it's ranked match, it's because I want a different level of competition and I want someone who's going to be able to challenge me in a different way so I can learn more about the game. But when I get on and there's someone who's not ready, like nowhere near online ready, I get offended. I get offended because I feel like, how did you get online? Knowing that you had the potential to play someone with any type of skill and think that you're going to win. I feel like it's kind of disrespectful to my skill level thinking that you can come in with whatever combos you think that you're trying to do or, you know, whatever special moves you got going or whatever defense you think you've built up and think that you're going to come in and win. But that's what I did. <laughs> and the reason why I did that is because I want to be able to have a great comparison between now like basically this was like my first on this was my first match I've been in practice mode for the entire duration that I've had the game and this is my first match with someone I didn't even go to arcade before I went to this and the reason why I did it this way is because I want to be able to look back and say this is what I was when I came into this game and now this is where I am so I'm excited to be able to look back on this video and see that I wasn't good at this game but I was still able to get some victories and the reason why I was able to get victories is because you know what even though this is my first time owning a Tekken I have a fundamental understanding of fighting games I have an understanding of the psychology of fighting games so I know how to think about an approach to an opponent when I go into a fighting game, that way I always have some sort of chance to be successful in whatever fighting game I play. So you know what, even though this is my first time owning a Tekken, I've kind of already played Tekken. And that is why, you know what, I can go up 2-1. I may not be able to close out because it takes a different level of, of a player it takes a different level of skill it takes a different level of commitment to the game to really be able to close out and beat someone but I can still be successful I can still be somewhat successful now obviously there's elements that are gonna be in, in, in different fighting games that you're gonna have to learn and you're gonna have to change and you're gonna have to grow in order to meet these new obstacles for instance in tech and you can sidestep so that's a whole new dimension of defense that you otherwise, you know, don't have to account for. For instance, I've been playing Mortal Kombat and I've been playing Injustice. Um, and for the most part, defense in those games is you either backstep or you block. But now you can sidestep. And now there's different mechanics in the game where there are moves where you can do the move and still hit a player if that player sidesteps. There are moves where there's automatically a built-in sidestep to where you can move up and around the opponent if you think that they're not going to move. And those are things that you have to learn from game to game. And it's fun learning those things from game to game. But at the end of the day, so many different fighting games borrow from each other. So many different fighting games look at the success of other fighting games. So what you have to realize is a lot of these things are universal. And those are the things that I try to teach you. For instance, I don't want to get on here and teach you the art of sidestepping. And then you go over to Mortal Kombat and you get destroyed because there's no sidestepping in Mortal Kombat. Now, obviously, you know... The, I want to be able to make you as as good in one particular game as possible but there's so many different youtubers out there and to me it's not my place it's not my niche it's not the void that I want to fill to go in and teach you how to be absolutely perfect and great at one game when I can teach you the the tools to be good at most of them so yeah sometimes I made talk a little bit about how to be good at sidestepping but it's not going to be a big big deal not on my channel but anyway here we are at the end of the video if you like the video like it 
If you think someone else might like it, share it. And if you want to see more, I'd really love for you to subscribe.